this one, and then uh, I'll hit you up on the Skypes. But yeah, and also, Freeact, if you're on Skype, uh, add me and we can talk. Let's take a look at the board. Scouting, party, and trade our events. 4-3 with the states. What's up? Attacks. Minion. Taxman. Cut purse. Four card hands everywhere. LOL. Trashing. Taxman. Governor. I already forgot what the events were. Scouting, party, and trade. Trade. Okay. Trade is not thinning. Like, none of, none of this actually thins, but it makes your cards better. Um, tax man plus governor can get you into fivers, and there's a million of them here, but that's super slow. So it's probably not worth. Village looks like only royal carriage, which is fine. It's a fabulous village. Draw is govy and minion. Hmm. So, like, all of the thinning really wants you to gain treasures except for governors, and minion really doesn't like that, you know. So, like, there's all this support for treasures here. Or, or a deck with a lot of treasures, because there's Magpie. And Governor does still help that deck. Gear is great. Gear Magpie is pretty good. There's lots of gainy bits around. But then there's Governor and Minion, which are ultra power cards. There's There's a lot of power here. And I'm sorely tempted to play something like Gear Magpie Big Money. The Governor deck seems pretty slow. The only plus buy is Contraband, but there's Governor to gain. Governor is really the centerpiece of the deck. It does not synergize with Minions, so if I let Governors go uncontested, what's going to happen to me? Um, I'm going to get gifted silvers, I'm going to be provincing a lot, and I can do silver into gardens toward the end of the game. If he gets 10 governors, though, I have plenty of time. I can province super early with gear and magpie and stuff. I'm really, really tempted to play big money here because the thinning is so bad. Trade supports big money really well. It's amazing. I want to open Magpie Gear. I want to draw a billion cards. I want to trade for silvers, and I want to leech off his governors and win the game. And the attacks just don't feel like they hurt me all that much. Taxman only hits you once. Cut Purse can hit multiple times, but whatever. Like, it's copper. Okay. I just don't feel like I'm going to have trouble hitting Province with the attacks. Even with Minion around, like, Gear really is great against... I'm doing this. I don't... I'm not positive that this is good. But, like, it just feels like I can win this way. This will be a Gear. Next turn, I'm really hoping to trade. He opens Magpie Silver. In what world is silver better than gear to open with? First black market, now you're going to play big money. So much has changed. Uh, big money is... Got a billion amazing enablers here. So, like, you know. Am I going to trade one estate, or am I going to gear the estate for next turn? And try and trade next turn. I could gear, I mean, I'm going to play the gear. Hmm. What am I going to buy for five? Governor is a good card, you know. I probably should get it. Royal Carriage, meh. The black market was not really voluntary, though. It was only semi-voluntary. There are two estates in there. There's no point in gearing the estate other than it misses the shuffle. There's two estates and two crappers in there. It's going to be hard for me to hit five. I should probably do gear and copper and buy a magpie. I like that more. 
I'm, I'm just really hoping to set up a trade this turn, and I uh, should get there. Gross. Okay, well, we'll get there someday. For now... Silver? Gear. I don't like a third gear. Maybe I should get it anyway. Okay, I will be able to trade this turn. I'd be quite surprised if I couldn't. Bird face. All right. All right, we've got our trade. Now we're just looking to find a gear. Holy crap. Okay, that went pretty well. Let's just trade without thinking. Uh, should have scouting partied? No, I wouldn't have done anything. Should have thought about it before attempting it. Uh, so now, whenever I can get a province, I'm going to do it. Uh, I will get a second trade over a gold. But, like, getting a gold isn't a super priority. He's got two gubbies. Am I about to get a Govey? Royal Carriage. Scouting Party Silver. Governor's probably fine. Still plays kind of nice with this deck. Uh, second trade might happen this turn. However, if he remodels, I'm just going to punch the estate and get a silver, and then hopefully province this turn. So I can already do the trade. could gear two magpies for next turn. I think I'd rather have a province. Yeah, I would rather have a province. I want. I just want to get a province on every turn I possibly can. It's time to move into the end game. This governor could be really good. I could just govern the estate into a magpie. It'd make me feel pretty good about not trading. If he Govy remodels, what would I do? I think I'd just thin a copper. No, I don't know. What would I do? He's not going to Govy remodel. Great! Well, we don't have to worry about that. Probably gaining a gold with this governor. Okay, I'm happy to see that. The magpies are gone, so I would have to gain some other less delicious four cost if I was going to thin this estate. Thinning the estate just does not seem important right now. So yeah, Govy gain a gold, play the gear, gear some stuff. Seems pretty good. Silver and province. I would rather gear the province so I have a chance of drawing the estate to one of his govy remodels. Is that better than gearing two coppers? Yes, because it increases the number of treasures in my deck for my magpies to find.
If you govern your models, I'll probably turn it down. Unless he can draw me the estate first. He only has two governors, though. And there goes a copper. Sadness. Would have liked to have had that copper. That's a reason to gear coppers over the silver province, actually. Because I'm less likely to draw them for cut first. But really, I have so many coppers, I don't think that's going to change anything. I would really rather get the estate thinned. Even though it is hashtag the tiebreaker estate. Actually, he hasn't thinned any estates. Yes, get more governors. Please. Okay. I could remodel silver into a fiver. Royal carriage. Seems pretty good for a rainy day. Although I do have to play it. But, like, it's fine to play it and then call it on the same turn. Silver's a good card, though. I think I'd rather just gain a gold. Let's gain a gold. I mean, the silvers do kind of help him because it's governor remodel food. I also didn't get to play a gear that turn, so this could get a little dicey, but I have the estate. Worst that happens this turn is I hit, like, five, and then I can trade this estate away, which is why I wanted to go for provinces so early, because, um, you know, the trade can improve my economy on a turn like this, which is probably going to happen. I should just be able to focus down provinces. Oh, very good. I'm pleased to see this. I really don't like the third gear. I think I'd rather have silver. All right, deck. Do some good stuff for me. We can hit province, right? We can! We can do it! We can't do it. Okay. Next turn should be pretty good. I don't feel like a pressing need to save the silvers and get like a silver. I could get another governor. It works for cards in a pinch. Although I really don't want to be drawing him cards. I want him to be drawing me cards. I've really improved the quality of my deck with this turn. There's no trade necessary. I could also like pitch a copper in a province. Get a gold. That does not seem important. Third gear starts to look a, bit, a little better now. Now that my deck is bigger, I gained a couple more golds. That makes a difference, I guess. Alright, we're going to province every turn the rest of the game, and he will not be able to catch up because he has four governors and zero golds. And there's no thinning other than Gubby. I think... Okay, if he Govy remodeled, I would... Trash crappers. Freeact says, IDK what I'm doing, lol. I feel like I've played quite poorly. Well, I think I've played the best strategy available on the board, so anything else would just be poor. On the other hand, I had three provinces on turn 10 in a pretty good deck. That's tough to compete with. I'm just going to gear a bunch of money, I think. Uh... I could gear, like, gold and copper. I just don't feel like gearing the governor is super important. Like, what's it going to do? Draw me cards. The governor is super flexible. I should just gear the gold and the govy. Gear the gold and the govy. All the Gs. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get a stupid province. Fine. So this is a good hand. Gear plus magpie is super fast here. I think trade is also a big, big deal for that. Trade is huge. 
Trade is really good. It's really good. Do I want to get greedy and trash this copper? Kind of do. But I won't. Should have trashed the copper. <laughs> LOL. <clears throat> well, I'm going to keep playing magpies till I find a gear. I would really like to draw that gear. Is it worth... Wait, I can just double province this turn. Let's do that. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Hmm. Was that premature? It's tough to say. Maybe I should have geared. So I could province last turn and province this turn and then not lose a gold from my deck. But then I can buy something this turn. Could be a gold. Could be something else. Yeah. It's tough to say. The remodel for him is maybe not as good as what other things might have been. I could trade two provinces and get two silvers. Or, uh, resigning is always okay, by the way. I will never, I will never begrudge you for resigning or whatever. Let's just make next turn super great. And scouting party to make all this garbage miss a shuffle. Yeah, let's keep the magpie. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for playing Free Act. Uh, it's always a pleasure um, to play against a competent opponent. You, you look like you're playing something relatively focused, and that was... I appreciate that. Uh, on the other hand, six provinces on turn 14 is redonk. And, like, this deck is super great. Super hot deck.